Hi people, lovely clients. We are here again. This is phase three, Gray City. And I'm very sure you are familiar with this project as well. Now we started this project with Mr. Desmond or Engineer Desmond, Engineer George, you know, the whole team has been on site to carry you along on this journey. And this is the, the current stage. This is the latest development. And we are here, of course, to explain to you what has gone into the process so far. We want to explain to you what is coming up next with regards to the next phase of this project. And I'm sure you would love it. So let's delve right into it. Mr. George, yeah. Engineer George. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. So <laughs> this this project, so this they've, is, they've been with us. Yes. And I'm the, glad, I'm glad. The last the time we came, uh, I think you hadn't started with the decking yet. No, we we're doing the supports at the bottom. Yes. Now we are. Now, I don't want to even be, be <laughs> the one to speak. So I want you to, you know, explain to our audience okay. what, where we are, what has gone into okay. it. So basically, we're on the next floor or the first floor. Right. As, as you may see, uh, this is the decking or the form work okay so underneath we have the bamboo props that are supporting yeah. in the upright position we have the beam plate that is also carrying the bottom of the beam if you can see this this is our beam plate okay and these are our side boards oh, okay. so here we are going to put a reinforcement or iron rods okay. to create a beam and then the slab will be on this one all right then before that the the steel bender will come and do his section that is a beam and then the slabs the electrician will also come and do his piping because there's going to be light and that's the plumber the, or the, the, the electrician, the, right? The electrician right, yeah, because yeah, the cables uh -huh, will pass, pass through the, the concrete. Uh, yes, yes. Then yes, after yes. that, the plumber will come to shoot his pipes, either the washrooms or the rainwater, whatever, before we can actually pour the concrete. Okay, so I, I want these um, black rubbers, yes. what, what are they for? Well, they are for two things. Okay. One, to protect the plywood that is receiving the concrete or that's going to receive the concrete. Two, some people put it just to give it a, a nice surface underside when you remove the board. Okay. But if you see the way the rubbers are crumbled, you will not get it because you've had a lot of rain coming on. So okay. it has defeated that purpose. But then this is currently just to protect the plywood so it doesn't get spot early. You know, when, the, when so much rain goes into the plywood, it deforms. So okay. when you pour the concrete, the concrete is going to take the shape of the plywood. plywood. Well, how, however, the, uh, the plywood will bend that is what you are going to receive underneath when everything okay. is done now. Yes. Okay. So this will prevent water from going into the plywood so as not to deform. So if you can see this plywood, which is not part of the project itself, so much water has gone into it. You can see the way it has turned to. Oh, you okay. see. So if it deforms this way, you pour concrete in, the concrete is going to seep through and you receive whatever you have. The plywood has taken the form, yes. Okay. So this rubber is just to protect the plywood. Mm. So it doesn't spoil early, it doesn't dam damage early. Nice. Yes. yes. So um you, you realize the form work is taking shapes. Yes. It has shapes. Yes. Is it that each shape is representing a, a compartment in the house? Like in the no. Unit? This this is, is usually just a covering, structure wise. So. This is usually structure wise. So the beams that you can see has been prescribed by the structural engineer. Okay. Because of the weight that is going to be imposed on this, the beams are there to carry all those weights and then distribute it to the columns all the way into the ground. So you can see here is a beam well. You're going to have a beam passing through, running from that column all the way to the intersection over there okay. before the slab itself will come. Okay. Yes. I want our audience to see where the staircase okay. is. Okay. So guys, so um, we've we've marked out the staircase. You mm -hmm. can let's let's come this way. Okay. Please don't get too close to it so that We've, we've marked out how the staircase is going to look like or the form is going to take before we can... So what, what name are we calling the staircase? This is also a, uh, this, this a half is, ten. <laughs> this is double uh, ten. Double ten. This is double ten. So we have one ten this way. You ten another one. Another one. Yeah. one. So this is double ten. Okay. All right. This is a double ten. So that is the, the, the shape or the way the stairs is going to be. That's how we've printed on the wall. Yeah. So you can have an idea oh, about it before right. the steel bender comes to form it out. Okay. And then it can, Okay. But then he's going to put some boards at the side and then divide each and every one of them as to the way you are seeing it. Mm. Then we cast. Interesting. Yeah. Now, guys, I, I want you to take a moment to appreciate the view we have over here. Now, just look right behind me. Right? Just look behind me and appreciate the view we have over here. This is going how many floors? This is the, this, this is the last one. This is so the last From one. here, we are going to have the, the rooms to the lintel level okay. and then the roof. Okay. Yes, yes. So now just imagine 
waking up and you know enjoying now i can tell you the breeze here is so amazing like as we are standing here and right the now weather. the weather you can oh see this one even rain you can yes look, you can the see weather the is amazing it's superb now i don't know why you wouldn't want to take advantage of this kind of opportunity when it comes to land investment or when it comes to acquiring land land acquisition now and we have we have more plots available we have so many plots available for you and we are looking forward to you you know getting in touch with us this 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 is something that a lot of people would crave for and i'm not even sure in the diaspora you'll be having such kind of opportunity so come back home let's live here let's build our africa together i'm sure you would enjoy living here with us okay so i'm already seeing some form of block work yeah, here so this this is this block work because there's a block work here we don't need to place a beam plate because right. the, block, the beam is going to sit on the block okay but then where there are openings instead of putting maybe a lintel the beam will pass on top okay you know, to receive the the slab okay but then when you get to the height of the the door or the window mm -hmm. you're going to have a lintel on top that okay. will be done afterwards after we have done because the speed at which you are working we can't waste time on those ones now but then we later we we'll take care of those ones no oh, interesting yes. i'm seeing some pipes that have extended to yes. the top over so, here so these are the pipes that is going to shed off or take off the waste mm. so the four inches these are all pressure pipes anyway yes 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 <laughs> mr plumber remember mr plumber <laughs> so this is going to take care of the wc okay and then this is going to take out the wash hand basin and the bath areas the, the right. gray water from the bath areas yes okay so the plumber will come and shoot them off to the he has a measurement the required measurements as to where the pipe will be he'll come and shoot them off and then we will cast i want you guys to take note of the fact that he's mentioning the plumber he's mentioning the electrician now you realize that everyone is playing their role yes everyone is playing their part and that is something you need to take notice of that we allow experts to work on what they are supposed to work on and it's very very important it's, it's fundamental that you have expert doing what they are supposed to do so that is one thing that we do not joke with at all so that compartment over there has to do with the studio that's the studio so you guys remember when we started this project we mentioned the client is a musician yes. so he wanted us to build the a studio, studio for, for him. him and so on this I, is the studio. The studio is at the, at the bottom. There's a staircase and then there's a small sitting area at the top of the studio. So that is going to be on the next floor. So you guys, I, guys remember Ajua once mentioned that it looked small yes. when we started with the marking out and yes. everything. <laughs> Just like the studio looks but very you, small. You can see the but now, now look at how it has taken yeah. shape. That's amazing. That's really interesting. So, so this is a studio. Yes. What's going to be on top of the studio? After just the rooms and then the roof. Oh, okay. The, uh, concrete roof for. So how many like bedrooms are we looking at here? Here we are looking at four. Four at the top? Uh, four, no, four. For the whole yeah, entirely, unit. yeah. Okay. Top and down four. But there's only one bedroom at the bottom. But the the three are all scattered at the top here. Does it include an outhouse like a boys' cottage? No, no, no. This this so is this would have been, yeah, this okay. been a boys' cottage. Yes. Interesting. Yes, guys. I'm sure. So at the bottom we have the hall, the kitchen, one bedroom, a laundry. And a storage space for the kitchen and then the top we have three bedrooms over here no oh, okay yeah, all all has its own washrooms no oh, so there's a balcony feet. for the master bedroom mm. something small for the other bedrooms as well oh interesting. and then there's a long corridor through yes. interesting well again what um rods are we using here the steel these are all 16 mm iron rods 16 mm rods 16 for mm. the columns yes and then as usual 10 mm for the stirrups okay yes okay guys i think we just have to you know carry you along on this journey because this particular project is exciting um we've had a lot of you you know reach out to us you want to see the latest updates with this particular project and we have always promised to stick and stay with you coming your way with update consistently and this is where we are now like engineer george rightly mentioned this is the decking stage so after this stage to do mm. what they're supposed to do we do the block work, block work to the next level to the next level the lintel, lintel, the beams, and then we put the roof and then the roof so there's so much more to come your way there's always going to be something to learn every time we come here on site and today as you've seen it's decking works if you didn't know anything about decking if you had just heard it before now you've had something to uh some insights shared on it so we look forward to coming your way 
with this particular project with the latest development the next time we come around and i'm very sure you will be intrigued by where it would be by the time we come here once again look around and guys take advantage of what um, royal kingdom estate is providing you the opportunity to get this, this this kind of views you know um this kind of plot serene environment um the weather is beautiful the ambience i cannot just say it all so rush now come get your plot because the plot you don't buy today someone is buying it and the next time you come the other ones would have appreciated the value would have been high and you know you might be biting your fingers you don't want to be in that position so i hope you have learned something new today you've enjoyed the journey with us Gina george any final words to our clients our doors are open to them anytime they are ready even when you are not ready just come and have a view right come and have a view when you are ready we are available and ready to work with you exactly we are ready to work with you and like we always say we are a one-stop shop building communities we are nurturing dreams and this is what we stand for as a daily commitment so like subscribe comment and share we'll be back your way with more stay tuned it's bye for now